Reality can be much stranger than fiction. In today's world, every influential person is given a tracking device. The device creates a complete record of our current and past location, our associations, our communications, our internet activity. It takes samples of what we say, hear, and see. It takes samples of many of our biometrics. The victims cheerfully bear the tracking expenses. We pay for the tracking devices and the supporting tracking infrastructure. Sometimes these payments are a major part of our income. We constantly pay to upgrade to better tracking devices. We're trained to always carry the tracking device, and most of us will fight to keep our tracking device. When our tracking device needs to be recharged, we plop down and wait until it's full. Of course, the tracking device is our cell phone. To be fair, the phones do more than track us. For example, they also kill and maim thousands every year. And sometimes you can make phone calls or run an app. To a teenager, the phones are an essential tool to enable discovery and social interaction. To a security professional, a cell phone is a pile of pain and opportunity. A security professional might evaluate the trustworthiness of a cell phone in the following manner. First, no cell phone can be trusted to protect our privacy or keep major secrets. Second, there are the phones that are fun and we trust to keep minor secrets. And finally, there are the phones where the fun comes from not knowing when they will stab you in the back. A security professional might carry the latest feature-rich, bloatware-encrusted phone, just like he might go skydiving or eat potato chips. <laughs> because a long, predictable life can get boring. When a cell phone explodes, it just adds a minor, interesting new failure mode to a long list of security threats. <laughs>